Hello guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize your game. So, I created the test script, which will automatically create many cube objects. And, as you can see, the script created many cube objects. So, the frame rate is very low. And now I'm going to show you how to increase the frame rate. And we will create the optimist script the script which will help us to optimize our game. So let's start from creating the new script. Let's call the script optimization. And in this script we will create the logic for our cube. Here is the cube. And the script which I created before creates many cubes using this example, this prefab. And we will create a script which we will put on this cube, and the script will help us to optimize our game. So let's remove all the foul stuff, and the idea of our script is we will disable the object when it's too far from the player and enable when it's close enough. So we will start from the repeat function, because this function calls every frame when the object is active. In this case we will find the distance between player and object, and if the distance is too far, we will disable the object.
So now we are going to work with disabled repeat function. That fun this function calls every frame when the object is disabled. And here we will count the distance between object and player again. Stay. Please don't let me leave you I'll do everything Come on, tell me what to do Standing in the rain Wait for you to hear me But you don't understand I just want to be with you Just let me be with you So now we are ready to test our system. Let's rename the advanced first person player to player. And the next step, let's attach our script to the cube. And also we will need to define the distance. So, now, as you can see, our system works. If the object is too far from player, it's automatically disabled, and if it's too close, it's enabled again. And as you can see, the frame rate is high enough now. <laughs> 